Hello, my name is Andreas Boland and I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Molecular Biology at the University of Geneva. In my research group we are interested in understanding how cellular processes work at a molecular level and especially how protein networks are coordinated and how we can modulate these pathways to design potential new therapeutic strategies. To do so, we are using a combination of structural and molecular biology methods such as X-ray crystallography and cryo-electron microscopy. Cryo-electron microscopy or cryo-EM is a very powerful technique that allows us to visualize large dynamic complexes at a very high resolution so that we can determine the 3D architecture of these complexes at a side chain level. I have started using CryoM during my time as a postdoc at the MRC LMB in Cambridge and I have, have been working at a complex that is called the separate securing complex. And this complex is important for the con controlling the timely cell cycle division or to the timely progression through the cell cycle. And as we all know, uncontrolled cell division, for example, by a misregulation and deregulation of the protease activity of the separase is a hallmark of cancer cells and especially in misregulation of separase in breast cancer cells. In December 2018, I have been established my own research group in the Department of Molecular Biology here at the University. And in our research group, we are continue to study how cells ensure cell survival, phase full cell cycle division. And one topic is, of course, to continue to, st to study the structure and function of the protease separase. Another interesting question in cell cycle progression and cell division is the link to the metabolism and metabolism homeostasis in the cells and how enzymes that are working in a given um, pathway are organized within the cytosol. So the cytosol is a very densely and crowded packed environment and the question really is how enzymes do ensure that the substrate intermediates are transferred from one enzyme to the next enzyme to fulfill the pathways function. And uh, one solution to this problem is, of course, that enzymes that are working in a given pathway together are all forming one large complex or supramolecular complex, which are called metabolomes. And these metabolomes ensure the efficiency of a given pathway. Cancer cells are rapidly dividing cells that depend on the availability of specific metabolites that provide the cellular energy that is necessary for cell cycle division. And preventing the formation of such macromolecular assemblies might be an interesting strategy to specifically kill cancer cells, but not our normal cells in the body. And we are, obtaining, uh, we are aiming at obtaining high resolution structures of these metabolomes and design mutants and, it, and then test the effect of the mutation on the formation of such metabolomes. And this way we might be able to design new therapeutic strategies in future. So in summary, we are using cell biology methods such as fluorescence microscopy and structural biology methods such as X-ray crystallography and cryo-electron microscopy to better understand the molecular principles that underlie cell cycle division and energy homeostasis. And with this, I would like to finish and thank you for watching the video.